everybody and welcome to our Saturday afternoon live. I feel like I have got so much to show you today. I'm, I've been running around all, all morning and afternoon up until this point trying to get things sorted and ordered and still it's a tip. It's a veritable tip my desk is. Um, but I've got a few things to show you so I need this for that and that for that and you know you know how it is don't you? anyway I made these yesterday late Sean late afternoon I was just messing around really I've had a good lot of messing around this week and I've really really enjoyed it normally I'm you know tied for really tied for time and I know I've been neglectful of the Mariposa album although we're pretty much getting towards the end of that but this week I've I've played loads and I've really loved it and the wildflower journal that I'm doing I think possibly has benefited from that because it's not as tight as other journals that I've done uh, every other junk journal that I have made in my life has been I have tried to make it as exact as is humanly possible and this one isn't it's just not um, but I like it. I kind of like it. I do hope I'm not going off down that route. <laughs> Maybe I will. Who knows? Anyway, I made these to go in the Among the Wildflowers journal. The journal is progressing really well. And it's a nice... Look at that. It's a nice chunky monkey. I've put these tabs on. Never before has the likes been known. I've put trims, I've got pom-poms. It's just loads, loads. And we've still got stuff to put in it, but what I'm short of at the moment is tags. So I thought that today we could make some tags. And I, I actually also would quite like to have some to go in my Etsy store, but I haven't cut enough bases. So we'll just, we'll just plitter along. So I'm going to put those away now that you know what we're sort of aiming towards and I'm going to actually start with a bit of decoupage because I want I want the decoupage to be dry for later on when I do the next thing to it so I've got some napkins out anyway have a look at these and see what you think there's uh, this one I how appropriate is that for the wildflowers it's, it's gorgeous um, also this one once again so totally appropriate for the the subject i love that it's gorgeous um there's this one which maybe not so much wild flowers i don't know but it's just so pretty uh, and then we come to just bits that i've got left um this is a bit of a poppy and cornflower one with some sort of daisy type things in to me that's just perfect I adore that oh yeah there is Mr. F saying there's loads upstairs there's there's a box how to describe what size the box is Mr. F could just about fit in it okay it's about that size and it is just full of napkins and I really must go through them because some are just not uh, they're not you know what we do really um, and then there's this one that I've obviously already had a go at I'm sure there's more upstairs but I thought there'd be enough there for what I needed today this one which i'm sure you've seen me use before it's really delicate but you know very wild flowery there's a theme going on isn't there with the napkins i buy and this one so yeah i like them all i'm not going to do them all but i'm going to do some um shall i start with that one because there's only part of it so i've already cut my card out um, to the size that the sizes that I want I'd quite like that to go right to the top so yeah that would work very nicely so I, I like to cut my to tear my napkins when there's three 
that when it's still got the three plies I just find it's easier um, I'm just trying to preserve that blue flower as well because as you know I haven't got any any others so <laughs> oh dear should I have a roll call while I'm doing this why not we have Terry hi Terry Michelle hi Michelle Kiyung hello darling girl Goni hi Goni uh, Kerry hiya Kerry Jen hi Jen Violet Hello, Violet. Roz. Hi, Roz. Connie. Hi, Connie. Genlit Creations. Hello, Genlit Creations. What is your name? Genie Dot Crafts. Genie Dot Crafts. Hello. Joan. Hi, Joan. And Heron, who's not here, but she's going for her 50th birthday getaway. Oh. Uh, and she'll be watching later. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, Erin. For later. <laughs> when you watch it uh, i hope you had a lovely time i just realized that i don't i, I want to cover this whole napkin Jen, it says it's jennifer oh jennifer lovely name uh yeah i actually want to cover the whole napkin so I don't really want to tear any off so yeah i'll use that i could bring that down just a touch to there right okay so once you've got the bit torn out that you want then you pull it apart now you ladies most of you ladies that are watching i know you know how to decoupage but every single day we have people joining our group that describe themselves as new starters and sorry did you want me yeah mike says hi hi mike he's slow getting his computer up and running uh -huh, yeah slow getting himself up and running i bet don't you yeah probably. slow getting out of bed <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh dear right so yeah so i'm sorry if this is going to be all old news to you guys who have watched me for a while and know what i do etc but you know decoupage seems to be one of those really divisive things people have their way of doing it and last night actually i was watching youtube and i was watching a girl it might have been natasha from treasure books actually and she was decoupaging and she was saying oh i don't mind all the wrinkles you know it's all right if it wrinkles and i thought no i can't bear it if it wrinkles i just can't but actually you know when she'd finished hers looked really nice so um maybe you can embrace the wrinkles i don't think i'm quite at that stage yet I am using today uh, the Ranger Tim Holtz Distress Collage Medium. You could use Mod Podge, you could use um, Matte Medium, Any, you could use PVA glue watered down, maybe three parts to one, something like that. Um, don't water it too far down or you'll have no glue left in it. But I'm using uh, the Distress Collage, I, I like it so. Joshua says hi. Hi Joshua, thanks for joining us. Lorna says hi, but she's not awake. <laughs> hi Alona, thanks for nearly joining us. So I'm just using an ordinary soft um, brush. I'm getting lots of product on my brush and I'm starting from the centre. Please note I have not put anything on the surface that I'm covering. That way leads disaster, leads to wrinkles. So starting from the center and brushing out, make sure that you always have lots of product on your brush. I sound like a hairdresser, don't I? Um, and brush from the center out. Go anywhere nice this year? <laughs> no, I didn't actually. So you just keep, keep doing that from the center out and that way you'd be going with the stretch because the napkin does stretch when it gets wet. That's what causes the wrinkles, not um, air bubbles or anything. It's the stretch in the paper that does it. And you, you really need to keep your brush wet because if not and it dries, it'll tear the napkin. It's quite brave doing this live, you know. <laughs> Disaster could ensue. 
I can't remember where I put on it here. You will also need, after you've done all this, a piece of cling film or whatever you foreign people call it. <gasps> Saran wrap? Saran wrap? Saran. So there, I've, I've applied that now. The tissue is so thin that the glue just goes straight through it and don't stick your finger to it otherwise you'll get a bit like that. So then you get yourself a bit of cling film usually comes in a box that you can tear it but I don't know where the box has gone and place your, your cling film over your decoupage piece and just spread it out like that and that will get rid of the wrinkles and any roughness magically not if you've got big wrinkles in it, it doesn't actually perform magic um, but it just smooths it down there we are and then when it comes time to taking this off be careful because you can rip it quite easily actually so make sure you pull it off at a low angle sort of back on itself really And you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to do that. That's not worth it. But it is. It so is. It's easier if you haven't got these bits sticking out over the edge, to be honest. Uh -oh, it's pulled a bit there. Oops, I'm going to have to avoid that bit. So warm in here, that's the problem. I know it's stuck, it's actually stuck to it. No, 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 no. Right, I'm gonna have to take a different plan of attack. Do warm, it's it's absolutely stuck to it. Yeah, it's pulling it off. Okay, right. Well, that was a disaster. I did say I was being brave, it turns out I was being brave and foolish. What I'm going to do is tear around it so the, the thing remains inside. That's the best plan. And be quicker about your business. And be quicker about your business, yeah. Um, I'm going to use this one because I think it's really nice. And I'm going to get my cling film at the ready because it was obviously dry by the time I got this put on last time. You don't normally use it, you know, also. No, I don't use you usually use the Tim Holtz, but just thought I'd use it today. I'm I'm wearing my um my cling film across my chest. <laughs> Quick show for Mike. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing it there because it sort of keeps it handy. <laughs> so I can grab it double quick. And I'm gonna tear this out smaller than my um, tag. So I'm going to, I'm going to, if I had one, pencil, I'm just going to make a line round there where my tag is coming to. And then just tear it on the inside of that. If you had, say, one single thing, a poppy or something like that, then obviously just tear around that. I'm just um, tearing willy-nilly inside that line. Not much inside it, but I think the bits sticking out were the things that gave us real trouble last time because they dried. So you can see that this is the Saturday and the Sunday afternoon lives are live, guys. If things go wrong, they go wrong. And everyone can see. Okay. So I'll take my napkin apart again. I've got this top layer. Oh no, my cling film's falling off. And let's just check 
yeah I think we'll be all right there it's gonna stretch so I might just take a little bit off the bottom to allow for that stretch try not to cut your napkins if you can avoid it because you get a definite line then and the eye really picks up definite lines if you've got a bit of a woggly line which I haven't got down here the napkin sort of melts into the background and the eye just doesn't pick it up so readily so always make sure that you've torn your edges and always make sure that you are just trying to use the uh, top layer don't try and uh, decoupage all three layers it, it'll be a disaster and we've already had one of those today so one's enough for the day Amanda says hi hi Amanda and Andrea Peterson says hi Andrea Andrea oh Andrea hi Andrea so once again then just like it never happened from the center out I'm going to try and be a bit quicker about my work because I don't want it drying overly fast make sure you've got plenty product on your brush and brush out from the center out every time and I know it's incredibly tempting to go back over it but try and resist the urge because that's when disasters happen Jen says Mike keeps checking his phone every time he hears a ding on your phone oh sorry Mike <laughs> I should have switched it off uh, right so let's try this and if this doesn't work I'm giving up on Tim Holtz Ross says Jim's been doing the same <laughs> hi Jim how are you doing right so that's smoothed down now let's just quickly pick that up and this time please work for me so there we are Phew. I'm not a fake after all <laughs> uh, so there we are we have one uh, decoupaged it's stuck to the blooming board uh, napkin and a uh, tag and it looks really nice don't worry about bits sticking over the edge we have a solution for those so there's one one done I like that napkin it's very nice um, let's use a different one though I, I think this one's quite nice potentially I think it's very wild flowery which is good that's what we want so um, I'm just going to move that up a little bit to there keep that on the edge I'm just going to draw around it if, if it wasn't so hot I wouldn't bother doing this but you know as I just proved to you earlier on um, so you pee the marvellous Miss P does it again. <laughs> Is that the failure or the success? <laughs> <laughs> Both probably. Yeah. It's not my first failure. It won't be my last. And you have to be prepared for such things. That's why it's quite a good idea to do it onto tags and stuff like that. Mike says the success. <laughs> oh, thanks Mike. <laughs> He's such a charmer, isn't he, that blog? <laughs> Um, it was just brought up right. It was brought up right, I think. Yeah, I think so. I was going to say something there, and now you, you've taken it, you've stolen it from me, Mike. I can't blink and remember. I think what I was going to say was, it's easier if you do this on a tag or a journaling card or something like that, because then if it goes wrong, and it can, as you've seen, then you're just chucking away a, a you know, a tag or a journaling card. If you're doing this into your journal and you've already got fancy pockets and everything else, it's a disaster. So I would always say try and go for, try and limit, <laughs> limit, limit the damages. Is that right? Damage limitation. That's what I'm trying to get. That's where I'm trying to go. <clears throat> 
right so i'm going to put that on there now the other thing i have seen people say don't use the edge bits because it's been crimped together and whatever it doesn't matter doesn't matter at all because once you get the glue on it just all disappears all that crimping around the edge says that's why she never sews the pages in the beginning yeah who said that Kyung. yeah it's yeah definitely i agree with that Michelle says it works well on music paper. Oh, it, do, it does, which you will see soon. <laughs> so from the centre out. Nothing underneath it at all. As soon as you put something underneath it, it's going to stick to it. Then you can't get all these wrinkles out because they're, they're stuck in, they're stuck in place. Does look like I have some wrinklage there. Oh well, I shall take Natasha's approach. I know it's half of you falling off your settees, aren't you? That I could actually live with a wrinkle. But that's fine. It's okay. So you see how it stretches? The one bit that we've got left is really stretched by comparison. If you feel it at all dragging on your brush, make sure you get more product on your brush because you'll rip it. You definitely will. And you'll mm -hmm. be sorry. It looks like this napkin was made for this tag. Such perfect fit. I know. It's spooky. Right, let's get this on. Get it flattened out a bit. Which side's the glue on? I don't know, but I've got to go quick. I know that's freaky, isn't it, Keon? Just fits. Right, let's get this off. Off, off. Come off in one piece, please. Oh, rip, 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 rippity rip. Can I get that off? I don't think today's a good day for decoupage. Too warm. It's too warm. Oh, I managed to. Managed to save that bottom corner anyway. Top corner's now decided to rip, but that's okay. It's only white. Can live with that. It's going to delicately stick that bit down that ripped. Okay, so there's two tags. That one really actually is wrinkly. Yeah, I'm thinking today is not a good day for decoupaging, but <laughs> I'm going to carry on anyway, because sometimes you just have to. Uh, right, this is my second signature, and it's got music paper in it somewhere. Yeah, right at the front, and it you know goes right round to the back, obviously, so I'll just take that out of there. Right, if this goes horribly wrong, I will be sad because I've already decoupaged that perfectly. But, you know, heady ho. Um, I need a bit of paper to put in there. You haven't got a, a bit of paper, paper just to pop inside there. Is there a bit there on my desk? I just don't want this to go all the way through because it's very fragile, this. It will stick to that side if I'm not careful. Okay, let's find another one then to use. Well, 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 what shall we use? Um, that's pretty, isn't it? But it's quite white and the music paper is quite yellow. So I've got my lovely poppy one. I know I just want one flower. That's what I want, just one flower. I'm sure I had one that just had one flower on it. Am I imagining things? No, here we are. I like this forget-me-not. Oh, I like the daffodil too. I'm going for the daffodil because on Lorna's papers, the Among the Wildflower papers, there's, there's one that's got daffodils and snowdrops on it and I absolutely adore it. So I know that it will 
so much in with the um, with the kit. So I'm just tearing around my daffodil. This feels like quite a nice quality napkin actually. I'm sure people would have been delighted if they had this at the barbecue. <laughs> but they're not having it. Sharon says hi. Hello Sharon, thanks for joining. Nice to see everybody today. Flo says she's learned to accept the wrinkles. Yeah, well, do you know, I, I don't normally have a problem at all with wrinkles. I really don't. But if today wants to give me wrinkles, that's just what's going to happen, isn't it? So I've got that daffodil there. I could take, oh, they're all faced the same way. Um, no, I'm just going to put that there. It's just going to be what it is. I wonder if I'd have better luck with not Tim Holtz. He's doing my head in today. I'm going to get my matte medium out. It is slightly more sticky. It is, yeah. Than matte medium. I think. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get my matte medium out, which is kind of what I normally use. I don't know why I took it into my head to use dear Timmy today. But he's been relegated. Let's see how we get on with the matte medium. I want to dry that brush if you put your brush into water in between times don't forget that that water that's on your brush is going to dilute the glue so give it a fairly good dry off first Janya says hi hello Janya where in the world are you yeah that's it's just behaving itself now well, there's a good advert for Tim Holtz collage medium, isn't it? Well, then again, not. Yeah, that matte medium, I mean, that's... I'm not saying this to brag or anything, but that's faultless. It's flat as you like. Where's my... I haven't got time to take this off the roll. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. It wasn't on my chest. So give it a good flatten out. Yeah, I mean, that's just different. It's just better. It's just better. Now, I also want to put some on the back, but I obviously can't because if I turn it over, that's going to get stuck. Oops, there we are. The only thing that's different is I'm using matte medium, not Tim Holtz collage stuff. So draw your own conclusions, ladies and gents. Sorry, Mike. Sorry, Jim. We haven't got Nancy in world today, the terrible twosome. And we haven't got Jean either. I hope she's okay. Uh, I'm going to try another napkin, uh, another one of these fellas with the matte medium just to see if it was me or uh, if it was dearest Tim. So what shall I use? How about this one? This is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, like that. I'll leave that pink one alone, I think, because um, it's not wild flowery. <laughs> it's not wild flowery enough. So I'm just going to quickly draw around that. Although I feel I would be all right with the matte medium, but um, anyway, let's tear it on the inside. This is the last bit of decoupage we'll do, then we'll move on to other exciting things. I can hardly contain myself. Good job I've got clothes on. <laughs> and they contain me. And I've had a, an idea what to do with the cover, the journal cover, which I shall also show you in a moment. So many things I'm showing you in a moment. Can you believe it?
I just want to take that edge off there because it's too straight for my liking. These are all different, you know, which is kind of in tune with what's happening in my wildflower, among the wildflower book. Um, obviously, if you want to make them the same, then that's prob they'd probably look nicer, probably, I don't know. I'm just, I'm playing with this among the wildflower and I'm having a great time. Okay, so that's going to go on, not with my pencil. Um, plenty of glue on there, centre out. Need some more medium. Oh, I can feel the tension, it's palpable. There we are, now the other side. So I hope you're all doing well. We're doing fine. Um, no news at all, really. The day's progress in a pretty similar manner. I junk journal. Mr F does everything else that needs doing in the house, poor soul. So there we are. That's not too bad, I don't think. I'll just get my pen film on. Smooth it down. Lovely. And try and get this off in one piece with no damages. Well, you know, all I can say to you is one was Tim Holtz, one is matte medium. The matte medium has worked perfectly. That's all I'm saying. Draw your own conclusions. But it's not my first rodeo decoupage and I can tell you and usually I can make it work so mm, there you go sorry about that I'm going to switch my phone off I don't know why it's why I haven't right there we are then we've got uh three is it have we only got three three of these I thought we had four but so we've got this one, this one, and this one. That really is um, creasy, but wrinkly. But never mind. We'll um, try to embrace that. That's lovely and flat. And this one, I think, will be okay. Oh, yeah, that we did the music sheet as well, didn't we? I thought we'd done four things. I do like that daffodil on there. Right, so, Mr F, my dear, could you please put these somewhere? They're pretty dry as it is, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, to dry? Yeah. In the sun? Yeah. In the place. Try not to touch the tissue because it'll come off in your hand. Right, so, the not next... My first rodeo. <laughs> I like that. I like that um, phrase. It's not my first rodeo. Uh, I'm just going to put these away out of the way otherwise they're going to just get on my wick that's a nice one isn't it for wildflowers right could you just shove those somewhere please thank you very much right so let's oh before we move on I just want to um, talk to you about what I'm thinking of doing for the the journal cover let's get the journal out Right, that's that's it. It's a nice chunky fella. Um, Jen says amazing taxonomy. They all look hand painted. Well, varying degrees of success, Jen. Really, but you know. So years ago, 
as you may recall could you show andrea what the map medium yes is? i can yes. this is windsor and newton galleria um i don't know if it's available in the us it's certainly available here it's about seven or eight pounds for this size 250 mils but any map medium really will be fine they, they all do the same thing um and work really well as a glue and they dry matte now i have not found that with mod podge even the one that says matte i have found that it always has a slight stickiness to it and that it dries with a sheen which i don't want so i i'm not a lover of mod podge at all um, this is my go-to as i say i don't know why i picked uh, the tim one this morning or this afternoon um, but this is what I would always go to, this Galleria Matte Medium, and the brand is Windsor & Newton. Uh, in fact, I think I've probably finished with that, so I'll probably put that away. Right, so yeah, this is my journal. Now, those of, of you that have been with me for a while know I did a degree a few years ago on textile art. And, um, oh, we did all sorts of things, really exciting, actually. Wasn't it, Mr F? We did loads of exciting stuff. When? When I was doing my degree. Oh, we did. It was fun fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, one of the things that I did... Should have been a joint one, really, between us. Yeah, it should, because you did as much as I did. Uh, one of the things I did was this was felting. And actually, I didn't put this in to be um, uh, marked, because I didn't think it was good enough. But I, I kept it, anyway. Um, and I thought that something along those lines without these sheep they are supposed to be sheep um, but with maybe more flowers down in the foreground would look quite nice as a journal cover for this so sort of like that and and I thought that you know when I'd done it I could embroider flowers onto it and make it look nice that's the plan anyway so what do you think of that for an idea maybe you like it maybe you hate it oh yeah another thing that i did that i did put in for um uh what's the marking assessment assessment yeah was this was this bowl that had a rough life um and it was supposed to represent the fell you will bear in mind that when you're doing an art degree they like all modern fancy stuff so this was my uh, you know my try and i had this has all got squashed but it was all sort of it looked like a fell inside there um, and the bit around the top was supposed to represent the fence blah blah and I stitched into it anyway that was that that was that yeah Miss, I, I knew he couldn't resist it he's now wearing it on his head yeah I knew he would do that anyway let's get on to the die cuts because that's really what today is about so I have this little die and it came from my good friend uh it was a couple of quid including the postage and i thought i'd give it a go now then wait till you see my little gadge look at it look at that it's called x cut impress and i think this has got to be old really quite old um but mr f got it in a huge box of stamps and associated stuff uh, from an auction or a car boot I can't remember which but somewhere and I, I, I thought well before I chuck it I'm going to give it a try so fortunately this little die just goes through this little die cutter so you put it there you turn that which locks it onto the suctions it onto the table and I'm using for this um, this stuff, which is Premium Artists Mixed Media Pad. <coughs> yeah, it came from Aldi, <laughs> okay, which is one of our cheap supermarkets here in in the UK. I'm not sure if you have them in the in the US or not. Uh, produced in China for Aldi, it says. So, you know, I'm. I don't know if I'd ever set sail and do anything wonderful or try to do anything wonderful with it. It's not that thick. 
it's got a bit of an odd texture to it but for what I want it for today it's perfect so I've cut some I, I already cut some strips and cut some um, and I think what you do is you get the grey now this could be wrong because it didn't come with any instructions at all and then you put your dye on like I say this could be wrong you could all be shouting at me as we speak and you put that staggered over the top so it feeds in and then then it just goes through and it, it's kind of effortless so that's just one pass straight through and look at that perfect absolutely perfect which I'm quite convinced is better than the results I'd get on my big shot to be honest um, so there we are it comes with associated little flowers but I don't really want them so they're going in the bin and then I'm just going to pass it through again with this bit of paper that I've got left there but isn't it an impressive little machine seeing as it's called impress <laughs> so I'll just pop that through again but just one pass and no you know no fuss so there we go and they're just absolutely clean cut absolutely dropping out so i am tickled i'm tickled thrilled with my little um blue beastie and it's not going anywhere i'm keeping hold of it because for the smaller dies i can just sit at my desk and crank them out no bother so there we are mr f could i just ask you to take that oh it's stuck so hard I can't get it off that's it thank you very much indeed indeed right so let's get down to the exciting bit which is actually the um dyeing of the dyes <laughs> I don't know why that's funny but it is right so I've looked out some ink pads um I found this one this morning I didn't have it yesterday just dusty concord um I've got masking tape uh, I don't want the pumice stone I've got bundled sage I've got fossilized amber but it's an oxide um, wild honey fired brick and faded jeans so though oh no I've also got hang on I've got uh, pig raspberry in a, a spray and also this cosmic shimmer one and i really don't know what it's called um grape crush it's a purple but now i've got that one i probably don't need that so anyway those are the colors that are available to me so um i'm gonna start i'm gonna start with this purple because i didn't have it yesterday no i've got loads of purple i'm gonna start with the blue because i didn't do too many blues so just squish it down onto your mat and get your water at it and it, this is an obvious thing to say but the more water you add the more faded the color will be the ones i did yesterday were pretty bright the other thing i would say is it might be worth your while putting gloves on because you end up in a right state have we got any gloves yes i think i might have a go with them you know because I can't do anything else afterwards, otherwise. Oh, he's off upstairs. Oh, he's off to the car. I should have thought about this before. Really sorry, I'm not. Uh, I thought I was pretty organised, but I'm not. But I'm not. Um, so tonight, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is start my felt cover. So as tomorrow I can show you where I'm up to and what I'm doing 
and what I'm adding. I might add some buttons and some beads and stuff like that um, just to pretty it up. But I thought it would be something different for our the cover. Oh, they're nice. Thank you. Look at these. Wow. They're fancy, aren't they? They're out of the serial killer's kit in the boot. <laughs> All right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to uh, replace them then in case you get caught. I think it is worth putting gloves on. I'm not a, I'm not that much of a glovey person and I didn't yesterday but oh my goodness my hands were in a right mess. Okay, let's go. So, I'm going to go just, all I'm going to do is just go in and dump it down. And then when you have a look, there might be bare pieces. No, but there will be pieces that are darker than other bits. Leave them cuz they they make the interest. Yeah, I think they're going to be quite light when they're dried. But that's okay. You can go back in with another colour or you can go back in with the blue. Oh, gloves, man. They're no use. <laughs> it's rubbish. So I'll do, I'll do another W one in the blue. <coughs> Excuse me. This has fallen on the wrong side. we go yeah I think the blue is quite pale but that's fine I'm quite happy with that okay lovely um, I'm just gonna add a bit of purple into there I don't know why just out of interest see what happens see what color we get Virginia says get down and dirty Miss P I know <laughs> that's made an interesting colour sort of real indigo type colour honestly you can't pick these up it's a disaster Jen says we've had plastic wrap splatters and now gloves and she's getting <coughs> <laughs> she thinks she's the female Dexter <laughs> no it's just I don't know what's come over me this week. I've just been in a mood for playing with stuff, seeing what happens with stuff, etc., etc. That's kind of all gone away to nothing now. But I do like that lavender lilac colour, so I'll try one more. Yeah, we might come back into them and choose a different colour. Right, let's, let's clean up as we go. Ah, oh, yeah, because I've got ink on my tag. Never mind. <laughs> that noise was driving the dog mad last night. I'm sorry if you if you hate that noise. <laughs> These are much more mellow than the ones I was doing last night. The ones I was doing last night were. That's that's a colour, isn't it? Eh? It's a colour and a half. That's that? that's fired brick. And I'm gonna I'm gonna add a fair bit of water to that. Well, that's very Dexter. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, they're nice though, aren't they? Very poppy esque. Yeah, very poppy esque. So, so, sorry if you are bored by this procedure, but it's great fun. You want to do it yourself. It's fabulous. I'll just do this one, then I'll add another colour into it. See what gives. Come on. Oh my goodness, they're so awkward to pick up. 
No, it's all right. I tried last night every picky up tool known to man. I'm going to add this wild honey. It's another ink, so it should blend. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not adding that much water to this. I am going to mix that orange fudge brick or whatever through it though so as we get a different look I think if I hang on to the ends that's the the way forward oh yeah that's nice got so different to that color it's amazing oh I've let go of the end bits of white in that. I don't mind actually if there's the odd bit of white in it. Look how quickly you can do loads. <laughs> I'm quite pleased really because as I say I want to do some uh, ephemera for my Etsy shop because it's looking really sad at the moment. There's hardly anything in it at all. Yeah, as with all uh, watercolours, which is what this is, it um, dries very much, I can't pick anything up here, very much paler than it is when you first put it on. I've cut the legs off this one, but I don't suppose it matters, does it? Nice. Very nice. I, I still love this very light lilac colour. Um, do you think we've probably got enough of them, haven't we, really? Uh, let's whip that up. <laughs> Sorry about the squeak, squeak. Uh, what else have I got? I've got bundled sage. I didn't use it last night. Let's see what happens with it quite a light colour to start with so I better not add overly much water. Give it a go. Oh god itchy nose, itchy nose, itchy nose. Can you say hi Bobby? <laughs> Potentially going to be quite nice, I think. It's just not much colour to it, but it, what there is is nice. Yeah, that's going to dry awfully pale, I think. But that's okay. Oh, I haven't even got any on that bottom bit. Yeah, okay. Oh, missed a bit there. Um, don't know what other colours to suggest, really. I haven't done that. Yeah, let's do this one. It's the only one that's outstanding. And it's an oxide, so you get a different look to it. It is more opaque, as you can see even when you put it down. Oxides are different beasts to inks. nearly finished all these then I'm going to dry them then I'm going to double dip them <laughs> these ones are alive you get you get really interesting marks on them if you double dip them hope you have a go at this because it's I was just wondering about painting these die cuts you know because a lot of people don't have watercolors and the thought of watercolor scares some people but almost all of us have got inks of some shade or other so i thought we could all have a go susan says thank you for teaching me something new today miss p you are very very welcome right there we go so i'm going to they're probably almost dry, to be honest. 
but then I'm going to come back in and <coughs> excuse me and double dip them right where's my dryer here see if I can unearth it it's got a bit of Edith ruffle coat on it I'll say this is one Tim Holtz thing that I really do like um, this this dryer it's fabulous They're really nice, actually. Nice and um, more pastely. Like these green ones here. And the blue. And the lilac. Oh, well, I like them. I just like them. Can you see if they're dry, please? I can't, I can't feel with gloves on. The finger of fate. Right. Dry. Excellent. So you want to dry your first layer off before you come in with your second. Um, and I'm going to, actually I'm going to come in with this one, which is this spray. And it's quite a dark purple. And you don't need much because boy is it concentrated. It's Cosmic Shimmer Ink Spray Mist. Just gonna dilute it a bit. Maybe a bit more than that and frightened now. <laughs> it is so dark. No, it's just the gloves are. So I'm literally just gonna dip this in. <coughs> Could I have a drink, do you think, please? Yep. Dip, dip. And then it's not everywhere, it's just in places and it looks quite nice. I've got you three pairs of tweezers the day. Yeah, I tried them the, last night, they're rubbish. <laughs> so you can still see the light underneath it, the light colour, in places. This one's an, another one that's that lilac colour. Thank you. So yeah, I think that's fine when that dries. I think that'll look interesting. More interesting than it did before. Which is all we can hope for. Right, so I can't really do much else with that purple, to be honest. I'm not sure how dry these actually are. They're still, yeah, they're still wet. Never mind. You get mud if you do this. I'll just warn you. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that alone because it's wet. So, if you've got a piece of paper at home that you want as a back cloth, this is the time to use it. You know, just wipe it off onto your cloth. Um, I'm gonna go for. I'm going to go for the red, the fired brick, and I'm going to go into my some of my yellows. Excuse me while I have a drink, please. We've swapped allegiances from um, <laughs> Diet Coke to Diet Orangeade. Just for a change, because we've been on coke for years. <laughs> Co you know, that explains a lot. Cola. <laughs> cola. Not coke. We don't do drugs. Right, so I'm just going to drop this in quickly and pull it out. Wow, look. You do get an interesting... Look at that. That's nice. Can you see that? Just adds interest. <clears throat> so quickly dip it in and dip it out. Yeah, and you get this lovely sort of two-tone. Not if you do it too much. You just get one colour. 
nice though that's nice uh, I'll leave some that are just yellow let's try uh, that was yeah that wasn't the fired brick so I'll try that on there see what happens oh yeah that's nice too yep yeah I'm I'm, I'm, I'm liking it I like just a little bit on them. People are liking the red and yellow. The red and yellow, yeah. This this uh, red and orange is quite interesting, though. It's like a sort of variegated flower. That's what I'd say. Um, is that? Uh, yeah, probably done all of those, haven't I? There's a yellow there, but I've got to leave something yellow. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be coming back later. <laughs> Um, right, yeah, okay. So the blue. I might just do a darker blue on them, not, not uh, fade it so much. So that's quite a strong blue there let's see what happens oh yeah that's so much nicer this is the way to go guys yeah definitely and I, mean, I imagine you could put many happy hours in doing this I could They look much better when they've been um, had the double dip treatment. Definitely, they do. Oh, I think I'll put that in the back. <laughs> I'm running out of ink because I didn't put much water in it. Well, that's okay. Andrea says she's watching you on the phone and a cooking program on TV. I am. I am. She's dying for a breakfast. She's not going till you finished. Oh, it's not going to be a long one today, Andrea. So you'll be all right. Um, I think I might add some of that blue to some of the purple, just for a laugh. Just see what happens. And this is. What, I encourage you to do this. Just do things. You know why not? What will happen if? Try it and see. You might be pleasantly surprised. It might be horrific. They're okay. Nothing much to write home about, but they're okay. I'll just try another one just in case. No, nothing much happening with that, to be honest. It's moderately interesting. Right, I don't know what I'm going to do with that green. Apart from add another darker layer to it, I think that's all I can do actually. Bundled sage. I could put yellow on it, but I think that'll just wash all the green away. It's quite a pale green, this. I like bundled sage. Nice colour. What are you thinking? I was thinking maybe. Um Seat here, might yeah, you just got to be careful you don't grubby it. it. It is adding another layer, but not one you'd want to write home about particularly. Might just add some more to that and see what gives. Jenny says yeah. she needs that yellow. What's it called? The yellow is called fossilised amber. And if you're ever going to do a bee journal, that's the one you need. It's perfect for bees. <laughs> uh, I've got the oxide. I, I would prefer probably the ink. I don't 
I don't really use the oxide for what, what it's supposed to be for. I think I think that'll help those greens along the way just to stand out a bit a bit more but it's it's not fabulous at all. But you know they're oh come on. They're okay. They're okay. Right, so I've got the fired brick ones still to do something with. What shall I add to the fired brick? Shall I add fossilised amber and see what happens? We've done it the other way around, but perhaps that way? Why not? Here you go, Jenny. Let's try this. Look at it. It's, it's so creamy compared to the ink. Um, okay. Here goes. <coughs> I've got loads. I can have a bath in it. And Jim says maybe some of the yellow with the green. I know, I'm just afraid I'd end up with blue. But I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go, Jane. This yellow is making a bit of a difference. It's not earth shattering, but it is giving it more layers. It's, you know, obviously they don't look realistic. The paper dies, um, but it does help them. I think if they've got two layers on, definitely. Which is right in the wrong. And add some more to that because it looks a bit pale. Doesn't now. And this one that had the purple on it that didn't look overly well. No, I think I've mucked it up. I was going to say something else, but I changed my mind because I'm a lady. Uh, let's go for a bit on there, why not? We can save some for the green to try one. Yeah, yeah. Talking of green, <laughs> we have a new copy of Mr. Well, he's not new, I mean, he's 1950s or 60s or something, Mr. Green. 64. 64. So I'm actually older than it. Um, and we will be starting. Mr. Green, I don't know when, I don't know when to tell you. Yeah, it, it's looking a bit muddy actually, to be honest. And I think maybe some of that is because it's the oxide. It's, it's not horrible, not horrible at all. But it's much brown, more brown than anything. So there we go, guys. Yeah, Mr. Green, for those of you that uh, haven't been a mem uh, subscriber for very long, haven't been on the group very long, uh, in January, we did a January daily, I suppose it was, and every single day in January, we added to uh, Mr. Green, the book, and it's written by a guy called Green, so the book came to be known as Mr. Green. And I think we all enjoyed it. It was just it was kind of what we needed I think at the time and I enjoyed doing it and oh it was fantastic because people used to do you, the page that I'd done and show it on the on the group if you're not a member of the group instantly it's called junk journals and mini albums junk journals and mini albums yeah that's it on Facebook um and at the end of it, it was a it was a book, altered book, full of 31 different ideas of things that you could do in your journal. And I auctioned it on eBay to get funds to put back into the into the channel so that I can carry on doing things like this. 
um, and it found its new home in America. Uh, and I'm thinking of doing another one. Yes, I'm completely mad. Do you know where Mr. Green is? And you'd like to know the size. Oh, yes, is that is that him there? Uh, yeah, he's a he's a landscape um, format, which was kind of the thing that attracted me the first time. This copy that I've got now is in better nick than the one I had last. But by the time I've torn pages out and glued pages together, etc., etc. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, there he is, technical drawing, Mr. Green. Mm. Is approximately nine by seven right. in a landscape. Nine this way, seven that way. Yeah. yeah. And it's that thick. Yeah. But that will alter because I'll, I'll tear. Oh, I just put ink on my face. My bro. No. No. Um, yeah, I'll be tearing pages out and gluing pages together to give us either 30 or 31, depending on which month we decide to do him. Um, I was, I've been discussing it with Mr. F, what we should, topics or whatever, should we stick to a topic or whatever. And it will come as no surprise to you. I did think of doing a, an entire Edith one. But, you know, to be honest, I've done quite a lot of Edith recently. And I'm not sick of her, not by a long shot. I've still got many Edith journals in me yet. But, no, we decided to go with a slightly more um, open brief. And it will be floral. <laughs> And I know that, you know, like I say, you've all fallen off your, your settees because you just can't believe I would choose floral. But yeah, and I'm going to feature the papers from the journal boat from our own lovely Lorna and um, sweet vintage papers because um, they're all kind to the channel. They're all very kind to the channel. And uh, I would like to feature them. I love their papers anyway. So um, that will be start. I'll give you plenty of warning when that's starting. Um, so you can get your books prepared and whatever. I think we've done all right today. We've made some nice flowers. What do you think? I'll hold them up in a minute so you can see see the coloration purple ones are gorge oh that would be a good idea take my gloves off because I'm not I'm not very good with gloves as you can see so that's all that we have made oh I'm just for it. made today oh that's excellent I was getting claustrophobia of the hand I'm not joking you, I really was getting claustrophobia in the hands. Right, let's have a look at these then. They're quite pretty, don't they? I hope you can see the like that green one there. It's really nice, different tones of shades of green. So there we are, that's those. And what I was thinking of doing was making tags with them. So I'll just quickly make a tag so you can see where I was heading with it. Um, unfortunately, I've got ink on that one, but let's use this one. So on something behind it, um, like book page or, oh, hang on, I've got a doily here coffee stained doily no idea what that's doing on my desk that might look quite nice behind them might not for all that yeah, let's tear this down here the way you drink it was probably just a doily yeah <laughs> yeah quite like that In there altogether a bit too straight for my liking I don't know what's come over me this week I've gone I've gone arty 
Don't worry though, it won't last. Right, let's tear that top bit off. Put that up there. I quite like this coming down here, that's quite nice. Right, so that's a bit of a background there. Um, I've also got some brown paper I'm itching to use. I don't know why I'm itching to use it. I've had it for years, never used it. I'm just looking for a bit of a background. That's all. Out of what I've got on my desk. <laughs> Mind you, if you saw my desk, you know. Yeah, that's all right. I'll just straighten that bit there off. off. Tear it. It was too straight. Come on. Come on, girl. Yeah, I think that's all right. I think I'll just stick those down like that. I quite like it. Scrumple it up and then... I like a good scrumple. That's scrumpled. Yeah, that's much more interesting, isn't it? Okay, let's get the glue stick out and the dictionary. Oh, wrong end. I think the glue stick's going to be okay for this, even although it is scrumpled. I think it will stick it. Pretty sure it will. There we go. And this I'm going to have to be a bit cautious with because it's quite delicate. And actually after your coffee stain doily, it goes even more delicate. I didn't even know I had one and there it was, sat on my desk. I don't, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Oh, I think I've glued the wrong side of that, never mind. We'll put it here, that'll be fine. Karen Jove says hello from Ireland. Hello Karen. Where are your beautiful napkins from? Well, oh. <laughs> um, Sainsbury's I would say mostly and the rest some of the more um, obscure ones I suppose difficult to get ones I just buy from eBay I buy four at a time um, and very often I'll buy four from eBay, I'll think I've done really well, and then Mr. F will come in from doing the shopping and he'll say, oh, I got you these napkins. <laughs> and I've been paying sort of through the nose on eBay, and then he's gone to Sainsbury and got a pack of 20 for 150 or whatever they are. So, yeah. Always check your supermarkets. It's amazing what they have by way of um, napkins. Right, I think that's quite a nice background, actually. I quite like that. It's not going to shut with a dictionary in it, is it? You could use fabric. Fabric would look really nice as well, I think. Mm. Right, I'm going to go for this light blue one. So I kind of like it. It's going to tuck it up above there, like that. And... I don't know what else to go for. I've got the green, which I do really like. Didn't do many greens, did I? Didn't overburden myself with greens, that's for sure. Um, I don't know. I'm tempted to use a green, though. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm just really tempted. And 
Have I got a single purple anywhere? No, let's see what I've got in last night's then. These are always, these are so bright. Let's shunt that blue round a bit, round to there, and put that one there. I don't know, I quite like that, really. Can't see much wrong with that, to be honest. Maybe that green's letting the side down a bit. What do you think? What do you think, Mr. F? Maybe we need a brighter colour. No, I want I want I want some that are quite in the in the back. Can't have can't have people all the time shouting loud. <laughs> can't even pick them up with no gloves on. So sorry, this is gonna be slightly tedious. I'll do my best to hurry. Shaz says hi. Hiya, Shaz. Nice to see you. There we go. I'll put the green one on next. This green you could split and have two sort of make them look like leaves rather more than flowers, I guess. Might be a bit of an idea. I might do that if I you know when I do them. When I make them for the shop. make sure that you've got any loose glue up because uh, it's hard to get up afterwards so if you've got raffia or anything like that that might be nice with this yeah could you just quickly grab some raffia any particular colour? Uh, is it in a box? just bring them all and I shall select that one probably could do with being up a little bit higher, just up above that brown. I'll get rid of all this glue now. So I'm sure you can think of 101 uses for really pretty flowers. Um, definitely, I'm sure. Let's put the lid back on that. I think this would look nice stitched around. Um, Oh, haven't we been busy today? Lovely. Lovely. Right, I'm just going to see where the middle of that is. Uh, and then I'm going to punch a hole. If I had something to mark it, this would be perfect. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Um, two, two, so it's there. It wants to be about there. Bundled sage. Bundled sage, Susan. It's I use it a lot. I use it a lot when I'm doing Edith. Actually, that would benefit from being inked around the edge, wouldn't it? Good thinking. Where's my hickory? Hickory. No, not hickory smoke. Pumice stone. This is what I've been using throughout this journal. And I must say, I love it. I love the colour. I don't know how I've missed it for so, you know, overlooked it, should I say, for so long. I can't tell you whether it's grey or brown. It's that sort of colour. It's lovely. And the stitching that I'm doing, I'm using a variegated thread that's got greys and browns in it. 
Right, so that's that, inked around. It would benefit definitely from being sewn around. I have got some raffia. Um, I thought I had some natural coloured stuff, but these are the colours that I have. Let's put a purple raffia bow on it, shall we? <laughs> Why not? How do you make a bow then, if you haven't got anything to put it, make it round? Um, scissors, please, where are you? Thank you. So if I were to use my pen, for example, just put that away, and make a bow around my pen, I guess you can do that, can't you? What's to stop you? I'm sure people know how to do this without having to use a pen. I'm going to put put a double knot there. But I don't know, so I'm going with, going with this. There we are. That's kind of okay. Slide that off there. Come on. It's got a non-slip bit by where your fingers go. So if I was just to glue that on there, like that. I'm gonna get these to come down. Yay. Looks quite nice. Right, glue. I'm gonna use E6000 because I have got no idea if Raffia wants to stick to things or not. So it won't argue with E6000. Very little does. Let's try that. Pop that up there. Karen says you can make great bows using a fork. Ah, yes. That's clever. Thank you. Who said that, Karen? Karen Jarvis. Thank you, Karen Jarvis. Good idea. As you know, those of you that watch me, 6000 does not grab instantly. Um, it do, when it does grab, it grabs good. So I'm just going to put a little dot there. And stick that leg to it. And a little dot over here. Oh, it's all moving. It's just a six thousand, isn't it? It's great when it sticks, and until then, it's just a movable feast. Okay, I think I think it's getting. Oh, not that one. That isn't. I'm going to stick a little clip on that one just to keep it where I want it. Right, so all we need to do now is something in the top. And I could use the raffia again, and it would all balance up and look charming. Or I could use something else. Says so she, casting around, looking for other things. Um, is there some purple ribbon or something over there at all? Or blue, or green? <laughs> Anything really. Thin, thin purple, or slightly thicker purple. That's lovely, that'll do me nicely, I think. Um, and I've got some, I've got some dark green here. Let's try that. Doesn't really matter, does it? We're, we're flapping on like our lives depended on it. It's just a bit of ribbon. I'm just going to put another bit in there so it makes it look nice and full. Well, I'm going to attempt to anyway. Mm. That's not working for me. I haven't got a pokey tool. Oh, thank you. Lovely. 
I'll give you those back or I'll lose them. Thank you. So I'm just going to um, make those the same sort of length. I'll come back and tidy them up. And if I can find Jean's hand. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. There we are. And I think I will put, shall I put a bit of gold on there for a bit of, no, I haven't got any gold in my journal, so I'm just going to put this bit of dark green around it and tie a bow. At least I'm, that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So I'll hold that up out the way, cut my ribbon where I want it, tie a bow, and soon Bob will be your uncle. Could you get me the uh, decoupaged tags, please? There we are. You might not have decided to go with those colours. I might not have decided, but, you know, it's what was to hand. I'm just going to cut those off at an angle which prevents... Thank you. Which prevents too much fraying. And... That one needs to be cut as well. So there we are. That's that. That's quite a nice little tag, isn't it, really? It goes quite nicely with the, the wildflower paper. I think. Lona's lovely among the wildflower set kit. There are three kits. I have them all, of course. So yeah, we'll leave that there. Then these are the, let's just gather those up. Getting quite a lot of those. So these are the uh, napkins that we did earlier, the decoupage. And if you've got any little bits around the edge, then just take a nail file and just sand off the bits. Do it at 90 degrees, like that, straight down, and it will take off any bits, struggling bits you've got. Like that, a little bit on the bottom of here. There we go. And so that one's okay. So what I want to do now is just put some ink around here just coming into the center a little bit and i think i might use the bundled sage because it is such a gorgeous color and it's kind of in keeping with um with the journal the wildflower journal now, i've got a, one of these brushes that fancy nancy sent me these makeup brushes and you can see i've been using this already for um bundled sage so that's fine and what i'm going to do is load my brush up like that then i'm just going to pounce a little bit of it off this is quite a dry pad now actually so and then just come in from the edge yeah it's it's a very dry pad come in from the edge and just color it from the edge into the center i don't know what if you can even see that it's really can i see that yeah, yeah. It's aged, it's aged bundle sage. And it just sort of finishes it off. It stops it looking quite so naked. Naked tags, we don't want that. And around this top where there's quite a lot of white. Let's make sure you've got plenty down in there. So there we are. It just, I don't know, finishes it, it dresses it somehow. Let me just have a check and make sure I haven't got another bundled sage to my name. I don't think I have. She has 
says have you tried to refresh your spray for the pads yeah i have and i got into all sorts of it was too inky <laughs> it was way too inky um so i think i shall just get another try another pad i think is the way forward no i don't have one yeah. bundled sage i don't think we have got one actually so let's just scrub like a billio. Yeah, if you're very forceful, you can get a little bit of. So don't forget when I've finished. Timmy is doing a live over on his channel, does it every Saturday, um, and it's amazing. That lad is such a good demonstrator. He's brilliant. You might not even like what he's demonstrating, but he's good at it. Um, just another little bit in there, I think. So that's that one, and then this one. Definitely needs a bit of something to help it along. And I, I just think it makes a huge difference between when it's not on and when it is on. Looks finished. And I'm sure you can imagine yourself putting your own ribbons or lace or whatever it is you fancy putting at the top of your tags to dress them up a little bit. But there we are. Lid. Yeah. yeah so that's bundled sage it's a lovely color really nice color and there are our three decoupage tags that we did which i think will fit in our wildflower journal okay i think it'll be fine what do you reckon guys oh have you tried to refresh your spray i wish it did work shaz but it doesn't matter, you know, I mean, they're not, you can buy these for £4.50 if you look in the right sort of place. So it's not the end of the world. So there we are. We've got our three decoupaged tags. We've got all of our fabulous array of die, um, ink die cuts. We've got a little tag that we did with them. We've got our music page that's got the daffodil on. This one. That's lovely, that is, I like that. Uh, is that it? Is that all we've done? So just to remind you what it is that we're trying to match. <laughs> this is what we're trying to sort of go with. Coordinate. Coordinate with, yes, that's it. Uh, and that one as well. So I think we're in the right ballpark, actually. There you go then, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Started off well. Um, but, you know... It's, it's got better a little bit. So thanks very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And tomorrow, are they hollyhocks, Charles? Yeah, I'd say they probably are. They could be delphiniums, though. I'm not sure I know the difference. Um, look at the Crafty Bidford online, cheapest place. Oh, thanks, Charles. That's brilliant. I will. Um, behave yourselves and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Be safe. Be happy. See you tomorrow. Bye.